So what do you guys think of the NFL uh, protest? What, what's your feelings of them? I really don't give a shit, mm. you know. Yeah. But the other part is that it cuts my wanting to see more NFL games. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. But I protest. I don't have time for it. Yeah. You know. Well, I want to know what the hell they're protesting. Yeah. I mean, what are they protesting? I don't know. Guns. Guns? Guns and cop killing and that kind of stuff. But, but it's, it's kind of nothing... got lost. Yeah. What, you know, what the original guy did it for. But well, one, the whole the original thing was, of course, that Ferguson hands up deal, yeah. which turned out to be a myth. Yeah. Yep. He didn't have his hands up. Yeah. So this whole thing is on a protest on a myth. Yeah. And, yeah. I, you know, I. Well, we better go. We're going to miss okay. that thing. Okay. I like that one. Grab life by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What do you do back there? What do you do? In the, We're both bankers. Uh, in what bank, Brian? Bank of America. Bank of America? Yeah. Uh, Don't you, judge us. Love your stand. Well, thank you very much, sir. Oh, <laughs> so let me get you guys' opinion on the uh, question of the day. What do, you, what do you think about these NFL protests? I have no idea what the NFL is anymore. <laughs> That's my protest. I'm a veteran. So you're, you're not watching, you're boycotting? Nope. Yeah. Not watching, I won't buy stuff that's advertised on it. They're paid to play. There they you go. It afterwards, that's that's all right, that's what I fought for. I, uh, I, to me, do I still like it? No. <laughs> but, <laughs> there's other things they could be doing. It's just the optics alone, I can't understand what they're doing. One, I don't understand totally what they're protesting. Yeah. Two, if it's inequality, having 20-year-old millionaires protesting inequality, yeah, that's the, I mean, yeah. the, the optics known, on that. They've been catered to since, like, high school because they've known that they've been good sports players, so that, whatever. That'd be like me demonstrating overweight people. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, for that, you get a get-out-of-jail-free card from Hillary Clinton. It's good for any crime in the world. This looks like a fun crew. We are a fun crew. For real, look. Good guys with guns, bad guys with guns. Good guys without guns. Good guys. I've had guys come up and read that and then turn around and look at me and go, well, I guess I'm stupid. They probably are. They probably are. Yeah, really. We're not stupid. Really? I guess, what do you do? Walk slowly away from them, you know? So what do you guys think of the NFL protests? What, what are your thoughts on that? Not in. We're not in favor of them. Um, are you going to boycott any of the games? Or? We haven't watched a game since. Wonderful. I'm a Marine, so you yeah. know what I think. So, and yeah. I don't have to tell you what I think. He's retired military he's as well. Retired. Yeah. So. I don't, I'm just okay. even looking at the optics of this. I mean... I, for one, what they're protesting doesn't make any sense. No. You know, and then, if it's inequality, having 20-year-old millionaires protesting inequality doesn't seem to fit well. No, it doesn't. I mean, it's, 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 no, this is great. Isn't it? Look at neighborhood. Go into your neighborhood and starts, you know... Fix that problem. Oh, yeah. That freaking crown. I mean, nobody wants to hear it. Yeah, really. I'm mean, what about it? And that people, oh, it's free speech. Well, but they were on the job. So let's say the next time you go to a restaurant, it's okay, the waiter or waitress. So before you take your order, let me give you this little political bitch I got. I guarantee you my employer doesn't allow me to express myself. Exactly. Excuse me for the meeting. I'd like to hear my, you know, hear my grievances. Unbelievable. Yeah, it seems to me the NFL is just shooting themselves right in the foot. Yeah, I mean, it's the dumbest thing. I want you know, but they're liberals. So I don't expect them to do anything yeah. smart. That's true. That's true. God bless you. Uh, here, here's a here's some get out of jail free cards from Hillary Clinton for you. There you go. This is uh, good for any crime in the world. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Awesome. Problem is, you're going to identify yourself as Hillary, so you can give it to a liberal friend. They'll use it. I mean, it. I look very similar to her. <laughs> Same figure. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of my way of dealing with the insanity of it all. There is a lot. There is and a lot. what do you do back home? What do you do for a living? I 
I'm a secretary for the town. For the town? Yep. <laughs> the whole town? Oh, I'm a registered nurse. Tip of the hat to you. Thank you. Tip of the hat. I mean, really. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yes. thank you very much. So what do you guys, do you have any thoughts on this, these NFL protests at all? Yeah, you almost have to form an opinion that you get so much of it put in your face. Yeah. So what do you think about them? I mean, I, I, I don't... I, I don't. I don't care I about think the I think that I think <laughs> that in the end, I, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're if they're bitching about it, it's only fair. If it's they're, they're complaining fair. about equality, yeah, well, it, 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 then, you know. What's in it for me? Probably a free jersey. Somebody's going to get rid of a jersey, and I'll, I'll get cheaper tickets. I'll take your paycheck for one year. That's it. <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong with the optics of like 20 year old millionaires complaining about inequality. Right, right. I mean, really. you know. I think they're standing up for the rest of everybody else, and I think that the, the fight that was the, that everybody's mad that they won't kneel for was for just that, so that they could stand, stand there as up Americans for, for other what they people in. for what? What are for they what protesting? I don't know. But whatever they're doing, they're allowed to because we live here. The, the bigger conversation is now, should they be allowed to? Not, They're really not putting the focus on the topic that they wanted to focus on. Yeah. Because well, this, the conversation is, should they be allowed to kneel? Not, is there racial injustice? Is there police violence that's inequality? Which, obviously, there is. Yeah. But the, that's not where the focus is. The focus. Well, the, the, being aside that that's pretty much a myth anyway, the point being is they're on the job. I mean, if you went to do your job before you saw a patient, no, could you I mean, person. could you walk up to the bed and say, before I administer any... I always want to tell you about this political beef I got. I mean, how long would you last? Yeah. I mean, you're that's on true. the yeah. job. But, but that... That rule was not enforced up until now while people are complaining, which fine no, now if they want to it. Enforce was it was enforced when the Dallas Cowboys <coughs> wanted to wear a sticker commemorating the police that were shot. They were told they couldn't do it. That's fine. Last year when they or in fifth, last year when the players wanted to wear cleats commemorating 9 11 They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. So it's a double standard here. I mean, fine if their employer wants to enforce it now, but they weren't enforcing the kneeling thing because the people were doing it last year. This is old news. People were doing it last year, and there wasn't a big all up in arms. Trump is just trying to create a smoke screen so that you don't pay attention to what he's supposed to be doing. So yes, he's, he's got his, like, he's got hey, um, the football players are kneeling. <laughs> yeah, now he's like, look over there. Look what they're doing. Don't yeah, but I think it was back. a pretty good... Boy, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's why he's where he is, because that works for him. But I'm just, I'm not saying anything. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why he brought that over. Bye bye. Doing so. What do you do back there in Miami? Raw police officer. Oh, tip of the hat. Ah, oh, great, man. Terrific. Oh, you know, obviously I'm a magnet for you guys. <laughs> Get a lot of stuff and like this you. is a bad time to be a good cop because they are just, I mean, especially with these stupid protests. Yeah. I mean, one, it's a myth. The whole thing's a myth. Uh, <laughs> like they don't even know why they're protesting. Well, that's it. Yeah. And I'm looking at the optics. I mean, you got, if they're protesting inequality, having 20 year old millionaires doing it doesn't seem quite. I'd like to have some of that in, inequality, you know? Yeah, exactly. It just, I mean, it just seems like they pick the stupidest things to go right, ahead yeah. and do and then and the do them. That they should do, they and then they do. double down on it. Yep. <laughs> yep. I can't believe the NFL is backing on it. Yeah. And there's one kid that actually got out there and saluted and, and stood. Now he apologized. Yeah. I can't believe yeah. that. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. Uh, well, that obviously, I haven't talked to a person out here yet that's, that's in favor. They're all watching another game. Yeah. I mean, there are people, they're not, I don't know, the <laughs> they're shooting themselves in the foot. All right, thank right, you, sir. Thank wait, wait, wait. Be safe. Let me give you guys a couple of get-out-of-jail-free cards from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank this you. This is good for any crime in the world. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, we're up here. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Cute. South Hunter Island, Texas. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's Arctic. Thank you. 
<clears throat> it's all my original work. Oh. It's what I do to kind of deal with the insanity. I think it's pretty smart. It's a good way to deal with it. Got to do something. Yeah, yeah. Getting out of control and crazy, isn't it? Well, I'd be happy with crazy. This is insane. Yeah. I could deal with crazy. So what do you guys think of this? these protests that the NFL is having? <laughs> let, me, let me get your take on this. What do you... We don't agree with them, of course. You don't agree? No, so, of course not. Yeah, yeah. What no. are you... Is it, have you uh, stopped? I mean, you're not going to watch... You're protesting your back? Are you going to watch any games? Or? Yeah, I'm still going to watch. You're still going to watch? You traitor. <laughs> <laughs> it's been real hard at our house. It, it kind of took all the fun out of it last week. I couldn't wait to get off work and go watch it. Well, it's, uh, I just, it was you know, sad, so it was like... I don't, now it's not, it's not even fun. It pisses me off. I'm so upset it just made it political rather than fun. So I, I know. Like it's like, what, I mean, do liberals, do liberals purposely go out to ruin everything? I was going to say, what is the point? It makes uh, no sense to me. You, well, what you need to get is that one that says, uh, if uh, Trump thought oxygen was good, would all the Democrats kill themselves? Perfect. Stop breathing. You know, I brought up the same thing the other day. I tweeted this out. I, I, I said, it's gotten to the point. <clears throat> Where if Trump tweeted out that he's banning liberals from jumping off of tall buildings, all our problems would end by noon tomorrow. He's never going to be able to win because they just want something to bitch about him about. Doesn't oh, matter. Indeed. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. And the yeah. NFL, that's what they get paid to keep to do what I ask them to, which is not that I want to watch football and enjoy it. I don't want I don't want to talk politics while I'm watching football. Yeah, it's not. Right? They're on the job. It's not like you know you could go I to told your somebody, job. And, I'm a realtor, and if I put you in my car, and the first yeah. thing I said was, "Okay, so are you a Democrat or are you a Republican?" <laughs> I, that'd be the worst thing you could ever do. I never talk politics at my job. That's before, none of my business. Before I show you this nice That's house, right. can I give you this little Exactly. I want to make sure that I you can... think like I do, and if you don't, then I'm going to tell you what an idiot you are, right? <laughs> that doesn't work. But their job, they think they can get paid millions of dollars to do it. Yeah. So whereas the military guys that are black who decided and up and joined the military voluntarily are making $20,000 a year, and they're protesting what? Yeah. They're making $16 million a year, and they think, you know... Yeah. They should be taking care of their brothers. You know? uh, yeah, the optics are so weird. It's awful. awful. All right. It's nice to All right, meet God, you. Here, let me give you a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. All right. Oh, buddy. God bless you. Oh, thank you. Well, uh, you know, it, it beats being, you know, what else are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, sit in front of the damn computer and bitch. I know. If you're not, if throw, you're not. throw what? Breaks up the damn TV? I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, uh, so I feel I'm going to come out here. I figured nobody else is doing this. So it's either got to be genius or really stupid. And, <laughs> where are you from? I'm, I'm from Atlanta. So. And what do you do there? Civil engineer. Oh, terrific. Yeah, yeah great. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're, uh... yeah, so what are your thoughts on the NFL uh, protests? So what do you got? Uh, I mean, I, I am in the... You got a bunch of grossly overpaid, grossly overpaid athletes that may be talented, but otherwise they don't have two brains, you know, combined on any one team. They're just pawns in a game. And I, I don't understand what they're protesting. I don't think they know what they what they're protesting either. I mean, I, I heard it was inequality. I went. Well, I want some of that inequality. They're making twenty million a year. Yeah, yeah, I want some of that. <laughs> with Kaepernick, he was, yeah. you know, he was an isolated event of some police perceived police brutality. Yeah, which maybe is there was. Maybe, maybe there was. I'm not gonna say there wasn't. There may have been one, but 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 it's a, t- a tenth of a percent. It's and it's all over the place. It's in the right. But there was this one isolated event that got all kinds of media coverage, and he decided he was going to be a decade. And well, it all started with Ferguson, which turned out, of course, with that whole hands-up thing, was a myth. Mm-hmm. It yeah, never happened. Fake. never happened. So, yeah. You know, what happened, you know what happened is the dude was half in the cop's car. Yeah. Well, he was. Yeah. He had a 275-pound gorilla, was half in the guy's car, the policeman's car, so he shot his ass. Yeah. Hello. So, yeah. No, it's just... <laughs> it's the it's the media, man. You know how it is. There's did you watch? Were you, were you a, an NFL watcher? Did you watch football? Off and on, not off a lot. And on. Not college, a big, yeah. college. I watch college ball. I'm a Georgia, I'm a Georgia graduate. My wife and I both at school Georgia. 
huge love watching college ball and yeah. what the kids do there. Um, but outside of that, no, I couldn't care less about going to an NFL game. Yeah, yeah I, think I, I work for a living. I can't afford to go to a football game. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I like. It's, I haven't been. I mean, the last time I went, I think a ticket cost 35, 36 bucks, something like that. So it's been a long time ago. I understand tickets are now like a hundred bucks. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know to try to get to, to get into the new stadium, the new. Um, but we have we have a Mercedes Benz Stadium now, of oh. course. Um, that Arthur Blank in the city of Atlanta paid for. But um, it's I think tickets are about one hundred fifty dollars, <laughs> and you have to and you have to if you buy season tickets, you have to buy the PSL, the personal the personal seat licenses. I think you got to do the same thing in the Superdome too. So to, to come out of pocket, it's only the corporations that do it. Because they're yeah. the only ones that have got the money that can put the money to it. So. I mean, a family of four, I mean, that's, I mean, even if the kids are half price, right? Oh, and they're not. No, no, no. They're full. They're, you got, they're, they're full full freight on every seat, even for a kid. So that's like matter. 600 bucks. Mm -hmm. Adding the, the parking and the and the hot dogs. And you can consider consider the 30%, 30% of every hour I work, every for every hour I work, the money I get paid, 30% of it goes straight to the government. So I have to work 30% more to be able to afford to be able to put yeah. together five or six hundred dollars to go to a fucking football game. <laughs> don't no, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> don't care. Yeah, brother, there's a there's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See how far that goes for me. Well, like you got to identify yourself as Hillary. If you do that, you get away with it. <laughs> But, you know. well, I, I, uh, that's what I identify as today. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Andy. All right, brother. Right, so, what are you guys? We're getting people's opinion on this on this NFL uh, protest. Where, how do you feel about all this? Constitutionally, they have a right to do it. I personally hate the fact that they do it, but he needs to stay out of it. But here's the deal: they're on the job. I mean, yeah, they could say, but if, I mean, if, when I worked a job, I couldn't go in and say, before the meeting starts, I'd like to uh, go ahead and give you this little grievance I got, this little political bone I got to pick. Mm -hmm. No, or, you know, if you go to a restaurant before you order, the waitress comes up and goes, before you order, I just want to go and get on a knee. What are, what are they getting on a knee about? Well, that's it. I want to know if, if it's inequality, I want some of it. If they're getting paid all those millions of dollars, I don't know what they're bitching about. Well, but but it's it's not about the flag. Mm. Not about the soldiers. Better not be. I was one for thirty years. Yeah, indeed. So I don't. If they're about that, they ain't got any sympathy for me. Yeah. And they don't have any sympathy for me. But it's the right. It is their right. It's their right. They do take it to any court in the and land. And it's all right not to go ahead and listen to Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And it's all right to get not to buy their products. Couldn't agree more. Absolutely. Well, get into Absolutely. this argument. We all need to be here. I, I, I didn't hear much, but I agree with everything you said. There you go. <laughs> I didn't hear much at all. Yeah, it's all about this. these NFL protesters. Uh, you know. a lot of bullshit. If you ask them, 99 plus percent would know what the hell they're taking a knee for. Yeah. They, they, they'll all be different. They'll all be different. Yeah. And it's disgraceful. Yeah. It really is. And I just, you know, and again, I don't get it. They're on the job. Why don't you just, just do the job? Do your job and shut up. Well, the, the last eight years have made uh, this sort of thing uh, par for the course. Yeah. yeah. Par for the course. That's what you do. But they, they uh, you know, how silly does it look for them with the money that they're making playing a kid's game? I know. With people up there wanting to be entertained, they don't want to go through a social justice uh, yeah. thing before the game. And the fact that it's so fucking despicable yeah. not to stand up and if you don't want to salute the flag, stand up. And don't you know, don't shoot the shit, just stand up and keep your mouth shut. But to take a knee. And then these other two brain did they one one babe on the well of the Congress. Yeah. I'm gonna take a knee. Here I go, and they probably needed a fucking block and tackle to lift their ass up after. <laughs> But I'm going to take a knee. No, 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 no. You don't take a knee in the Congress. You're taking a knee when the National Anthem's played. This has nothing to do with it. <laughs> You're brain dead. They are. It's just beyond insanity. They need a new word for insanity. It's like <laughs> lib libanity or libanity. Uh, for liberal. Yeah, and now, of course, I read that in the paper today that the Saints are going to kneel before the anthem. Yeah, that's not acceptable. Yeah. That's not acceptable. 
Yeah, I, in fact, it went the other night when the uh, Cowboys were on playing uh, uh, the Cardinals, I wanted to see what they were going to do. And they uh, they kneeled, and uh, then they get up, and I turned the TV off. I said, hey, I'm disappointed. But, uh, so Gary you're pretty Jones, much done with the NFL for now? Yeah. yeah, you know, I, yeah. Yeah, well, I was done with it uh, for about 10 years with my Redskins. So <laughs> it was an easy one. But, uh, yeah, even the Redskins, they did that. Uh, they, they didn't kneel. They came out and they... they uh, but it's, this isn't the end of it. I mean, Trump has just opened this thing up, and... Uh, He's, uh, he's not nearly as dumb as people uh, say he oh, is. No, I he's think it was kind smart. of a brilliant move yeah. on him to go ahead and, you know, just draw back that curtain. So let's see how bad they'll be. You know, how and, and I wish he go. hadn't said, that son of a bitch, I mean, because now they're equating to son of a bitch and that the bitch is the black lady because 70, 75 percent of all the players are black. I mean, that, it all goes to race. Yeah, all. but that, yeah, that's just them. They, I mean, they were trying to interpret him, the words, us and we, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, man. You know, what is that? Some secret, secret, uh, secret uh, Aryan code we're supposed to be understanding or something. The guy was just wait. He, he's he's with us all the way, but he said, uh, says Trump. You know, no matter whether you like, he said, uh, you know, I fire that son of a bitch. He's saying everything that we feel that we'd like to say. Yeah. You know, that's outrageous to some people. And you know, yeah, we make him. He said, yeah. That's exactly what it required. Fire the son of a bitch. Well, that's what propelled him into the candidacy to begin exactly. with. Exactly. I mean, I can yeah. lost, I, I've lost count of many times I it hurt. Well, he's saying what I think. Okay, good for you. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Did I give you a get-out-of-jail-free card from, <laughs> from Hillary Clinton? There you go. <laughs> Most people recognize from the Saints. I was out there 14 years coming on the film and wasn't with it. Yeah, well, I know. Of yeah. course, you look yeah. familiar. Yeah, you yeah, always yeah. look at Black Shop. You know? yeah, that's right. Thank you. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of the Saints, I was just, I want to get your opinion on this, right? Okay. okay. Because I guess the article was just in the paper in the Times Picayune this morning. Okay, and it's all about it. these protests. Oh yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's Shame disgusting. On you. What's Shame disgusting? On you. You're okay. disgusting. How am I disgusting, lady? Listen. I'm not gonna say. Don't take it personally. No. Uh, but the, the comedians. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to tell you right now. It's up to that individual. But if you work for, that's your job. Okay. The NFL. So if, if I hire you to do something. What you do behind closed doors is your business. But in general, like me, like I said, I was with the Saints 14 years. I, I was offended only one time when they told me one time, and my mom had the largest vote in Pizza Night Ward, even though I don't vote right now. It said, Coach, we don't mind you doing flips and everything like that, but don't march in the Martin Luther King parade wearing black and gold with the NFL. I said, wait a minute. The Saints, the Saints, when they start paying my bills, I start listening to them. But right now, that's a parade. I say, if I don't help to keep the youth out the street, I say, I'm edifying the youth. I say, now, true, that 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 symbolized one thing. But I say, you gonna tell me that I cannot wear my NFL what I wear? I said, so I did wear black and gold. I just didn't wear um, the same stuff that they gave us to wear in the dome because we have rules and regulations. But then even Neon Dion Sanders, when he was uh, playing for uh, Atlanta, when they, he was getting fined eight thousand dollars a game for wearing the, the, the different color socks right. before the game, right. even though he was doing that for the sponsors. The right. Sponsors was paying him twenty thousand. We're saying we were Les Brown. When Les Brown did motivational speakers, and I talk about attitude, I always tell people because see, I, I had a full scholarship in gymnastics. I said, let me explain something to you. Um, and see, I, I had the tip of the iceberg of a little racism, but at the Fairmont, because in the 70s, you know, I didn't know that much, but I always tell people, if you was blind, you wouldn't know what color somebody is. Because when I first started my gymnastics, 80% of my clientele was white. So the blacks used to come in there, well, coach, who, who, who's in charge of this? Who, who's, who's the owner? I say, I am. Man, why don't you stop being it? You're black, you ain't no owner. Them, them white folks, women. I say, you don't understand. They trained me. I said, the more I know, the more I find out I don't know. I said, I was at Lee Circle YMCA a long time. But I, I do remember, man, when I got my first job at the Fairmont, they said, well, now that you're employed, you know you got to go around through the back door. I said, I ain't going through no back door. Well, little did I know, guess what? You're employed, you're going through the back door unless you're fired. So that was just their rules. And I was thinking, well, well why? But also, too, for safety precautions and other things later, but just like as a witness. My sister's a seven-day Now, when they said you had to go, uh, everybody, every employee yes, had right. to go through the back yeah, door. But yeah. what, what I didn't like, 
later on is that when I worked in the Fairmont in the Blue Room, uh, when I was at Lee Circle Y, some of the people say, well, no, just put my, my values there and staple it. They act like they didn't want to shake my hand or touch it. And I'm like, wow. You know, but I, I realize, you know, we're dealing with people that just, they upbringing. That's how they were brought up. Just like me. A lot of my friends brought up. In, in now, how project. long has it been, though, since you've experienced anything like Negative. that? Negative. Um, maybe about 10 years ago. This whole controversy, I mean, for well, one. Each individual owner going to decide how they're going to deal with their team. Because I'm going to tell you something. Atlanta, see, the owners are like this. They don't want to lose revenue. We know they, they're bottom line their pocket. But the sensitivity is beyond what they're doing for what they're doing it for. In other words, Colin Kaepernick, he started a whole different regime altogether. They're not even, some of them probably don't even know why they're kneeling or standing or whatever. They may, can't even sing the Star Spangled Banner or the National Anthem. <laughs> They can't tell you five minutes after they start who was the person out there. Yeah. Because I was out there for 14 years, and I know as of 2009, that's when they required the team to come out. And you they, did, and you were what with the Saints? I was a cheerleader, tumbling in on the field. Terrific. So, and this, I used to sell my tickets, too, before the game, because I knew we wasn't going to win. We so you know all these guys, yeah. like, first name Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I was, just like Pat Swift, I taught his, his wife and other people. But let me tell you what would happen. People that lowered their moral standards for the years, and we have no long range strategic job planning. What happened to having uh, a trade school because somebody is 22 years old and we can't keep him in 10th grade anymore, all right? And all that. But they, they haven't, because of their pride, they well, have no ability. Well, a lot of that, I think social, the social engineering, the elites, the people that they, they saw this Wanna coming. Be. And Wanna be. Because guess what? In the, in, in the, in the um, 90s, in the 84, I was getting $10 an hour from a non-profit. And the minimum wage is only like a dollar and something. But the thing is, when people tell me about they want $15, $20, I say, what experience you have? None. Well, okay. And then you get like <laughs> Yeah, but let me things, go. I got to get on things the like apprenticeship. And your first name again, Michael. Michael. Yeah, because guess yeah. what? I took woodworking and mechanical drawing. Yeah, oh. but now I did face a little negative with my dad because at the time I wanted to be a cheerleader. I said, "Hold up, Dad, I like girls." So my dad was all American quarterback. You got to realize in the seventies. Yeah, they don't understand, dad, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I said, thought, Dad, I, I get paid twenty-five dollars an hour though, Dad. He said, "All right, son." I guess, all right. <laughs> Since it was the NFL, but he said, "Son, be careful out there." We don't have no ACDCs in our family. <laughs> 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 right, that was good. So what do you do back there? What are you doing in New York? Yeah, I was good. I probably would have been my first guest with these. <laughs> you know, and plus my, you know, my work. I'm just like a magnet for military and police. And so I'm always talking, you know, and it's great because I'm going shit. You know, it's, well, if, if hey, you guys get the orders, you're the ones with the boots on the ground. So if anybody knows of the bullshit that's going down, yes, you know, yes, and it is bullshit now. Oh, bullshit. I mean, it's a bad time to be a good cop. So yeah, you know, it's not great. you're the perfect person to ask. I want to get your 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 take on this whole bullshit with the protest. Uh, you know, all I mean, you said it, it's bullshit. Uh, I think the optics is what I don't get. It seems like they do the stupidest thing they can think of and then double down on it. <laughs> I mean, th just the optics. Having 20-year-old millionaires speak about inequality is something like... It's nuts. Because you grew up broke, you're doing better than me, buddy. <laughs> yeah, if that's inequality, I want some. <laughs> just sign me up. So what, what do you guys think of this whole... What, this thing, the protests that they're doing for the NFL? Well, the... I think freedom of speech, but I think there's a lot better things you can speak about. But... The thing is, freedom of speech, but aren't they on the job? Yeah. They I are. Mean, Did I you see, um, who was it? I think the Chicago Bears made an announcement last night that they are no longer going to kneel because it started affecting their, their um, the team's franchise financially. You would think? It was, it was, the, it was the money. They made so a statement course. last night or this morning, so they're not going to do well, it anymore. Well, I haven't spoken to one person yet out here today that was in favor. Many of them said they'll never watch another game. Yeah. And so, you know. Have you read Chris Kyle's uh, wife's statement that she put out like last week about this whole thing? American Sniper guy, his wife. Oh, no, no, tell me. Okay, so she, she put out this whole statement to the NFL and she said, you know, 
my husband fought so you could have the, the freedom to protest. I am with you. However, you have a perfect forum to bridge gaps here in the NFL and, and make bridges instead of creating divides. People of all different backgrounds come to your games and get together for one common purpose, and you guys are the ones causing a divide. You have a great forum to bring people together, and you're not. Use it. It's sort of like they picked the stupidest thing they could do, and then they did it. And then they doubled down on it. And then when people said, screw you, I'll spend my money somewhere else. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. now we just found our morals. I, yeah. wa- I work for a nonprofit, and you should have seen the. Um, I was so pissed, the tears when he got elected the next day. It was disgusting. I had to be like, fuckers. I can't. And I just walked in like this. Yeah. I went to sleep. I didn't even know he won. And my husband woke me up and he was like, Christina, Christina. He's like, what? He's like, he won. I go, what? <laughs> He's like, he won. And my mom wouldn't watch the news. She wouldn't let my dad tell her in the morning. She waited till she had had coffee. And she's like, all right, what happened? And my dad's like, Mini, he won. And she's like, don't, don't play with me, Mark. <laughs> and he was like, no, maybe she, she, he won. I love this Mavanka too. It, it, it's got to the point now, and I, I tweeted this out, I said, the Trump derangement syndrome has gotten so bad that if he tweeted tomorrow morning that he signed an executive order banning liberals from jumping off of tall buildings, they'd, be pissed. they'd start jumping off of tall buildings yeah. the very next day. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should do that. <laughs> Maybe you should. I mean, hell. No. I could take a few less family members I got. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So I don't think I have to. Let me ask you how you guys feel about these protests that they're, they're. I think it's in their contract. They're supposed to do that. So I mean, to me. But if they're supposed to protest? I no, think they're supposed to. No, they're supposed to. Oh yeah, to indeed. Yeah. I think and they're disrespectful assholes. That's what I think. Yeah. But, you know, and then, I don't know. If you don't like it, you don't protest like our flag, you don't want, want to salute? Protest all you want. There's plenty of other countries out there you can go to if you don't think this is the best one. And I'm looking at the optics. I mean, you know, 20-year-old millionaires complaining about inequality. Yeah. <laughs> well, Why I, the yeah. hell? I, can I have some of that inequality? Yeah. I mean, they're jumping on the platform. I think they're disrespectful yeah. jerks. And That's what I think. By all means. Have you done it? Has this made you stop watching, or, you know, NFL? I don't think we've watched not not purposely, but we've been here since Sunday. So all of this kind of we. Um, I'm from a family of 49ers fans, mm-hmm. but the minute um, that Shit idiot had, started uh, doing that, um, yeah. my they son stopped. stopped watching them. My, yeah. my son was a 49ers fan. He's no longer a 49ers fan because of that. Yeah. yeah. But my son, my son was, was a 49ers fan anyway. Look, it's like they found the stupidest thing they could have done, and then they did it. The thing with him too, what's his name again? The guy, yeah, the thing with him too, it wasn't just that he was protesting that he was wearing I hate cop yeah, socks right. and you know. Right. Everybody forgets when he first started protesting, he said he was protesting the anthem because it had something to do with slavery right. and the oppression of the time. Get over it. Everybody yeah. forgets that. Get over that it. Was his I didn't do it. Protest. You didn't do it. Yeah. I yeah. Know. None of, it's got nothing to do with any of us. Yeah. No, no white guy alive today was a slave owner. No black guy alive today was a slave. Country, so get over it. Get every over it. So I mean, when it, Martin Luther true, King right? must I mean, be rolling I mean, over his grave. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What do you do back home? What do you do with it? What do you do? Law enforcement. Oh, well, there you go. I'm a magnet for military and police. No, so, I'm you know, quite sure you are. Yeah. You see, I walk right to you. <laughs> yeah. And I, so I don't guess I have to get find out where you fall on the on the no, NFL pretty, protests. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I've been protesting the NFL before. It was cool. I haven't watched the game since the beginning of last yeah. season because of Kaepernick's yeah. bullshit. Yeah. And more or less because of uh, got a, what the hell's his name? The president of the NFL. Yeah. or whatever, because of his stance on allowing Kaepernick yeah. to do that, I said, I'm done with the NFL. Especially yeah. when the uh, Dallas Cowboys came out with the stars, with the badge numbers of the Dallas cops who were killed, and they got fined. That was it for me. I was done. Oh, sure. I haven't watched a game since. I do, you know, it's like they picked the dumbest thing they can think of to do. Right. Absolutely. And then they do it. Right. And then they double down on it. Right. It's... Yeah. It's, it's sickening. I mean, now you see, you, that, that's how you, you as a police officer, you see the insanity every day of, you know, what can happen out here. What goes oh, on. yeah. 
And it's a puzzlement that when you see the organized insanity. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. They're great. That did it for me for the NFL. I watched the game since then. Yeah. And then the whole thing is on a false premise anyway, because there was never a hands up, don't shoot to begin no. with. No. Right. It was, so a it was false... built on a myth. Right. Right. It was a false principle to begin with. Yes. Mm -hmm. So again, they right. pick the stupidest to pick a non cause, something that didn't even happen, pick a myth. Right. Make shit up and then run with it. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, there are cops that have done questionable shooting. Oh, yeah, there's, yeah, there's bad there's cops be, out there. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. But, but they don't seem to focus on them. No, they, fo they focus on all the ones that turn out to be the right thing. They did the right thing, you know? I know. It's nuts. It's nuts. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, give me, give me a picture of it. Yeah, stand over there. And I'll grab her. <laughs> all right. Talking to you, oh, pleasure Stop you, officer. There. Yes, sir. Thank you. So I've been asking people about the NFL uh, debacle. I'm sure you've been oh yeah, yeah, yeah. couldn't get away with from that. Yeah. Uh, well, so I guess one of the things I always thought of was just let's just not play the national anthem anymore. I, I, well, it, it it actually started in 1990, if I'm not mistaken. Before I think 1990, they would, if you remember, they would have the national anthem, and then the the team would come rushing out of the yeah. thing, boom, you know, busting through the whatever. Harp or whatever the hell they had going, so they'd make a big deal. The girls, right? <laughs> so that only started after 9/11, really. You know, they would start getting more sure. patriotic. Sure. More than that. The NFL becoming politicized was jumping the shark. You really think you were going to convert a bunch of beer belly? <laughs> you know? Do you, do you know where jump the, the the term jump the shark came from? Oh, tell me. Happy Days. Yeah. Happy Days? Serious? Yep, Happy Days. So Happy Days was uh, getting low on ratings, and they had to do something. So they get out, and they had the Fonz skiing, water skiing, on this big ramp. And he goes over the ramp, and then the shark comes underneath. And Happy Days was never the same again. It got canceled. So now, every time you hear the words jump the shark, really? it's because the show, is, yeah, the show is about to be canceled. It went too far. And that's See, that's a bit of Americana right there. The great. things we have given this world. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? Happy days. <laughs>